Welcome back everyone, I am Zadie and this is Kerbal Space Program, the Redneck Space Program, and today people, today, holy crap, this is a build video people, we're getting serious, we're getting top notch serious on this one, we today are going to build our lander, we're also going to build the platform on which the lander will be shot into space, we are also going to be building the rover that we're going to be sending, and we're also going to be testing all these components. So obviously this is going to be a long video, well it's a 20 minute video, but it is all 100% build. This is my first build, pure build video. This was a huge, huge project for me to take on that I wanted to um, get right and I wanted to make look good and I also wanted to just do it. I wanted to go to the moon with a lander. I wanted to go to the moon with a full crew of three, send two down to the surface. I also wanted to go to the moon with a rover that I could drive around to the different biomes and get science from. I took this as about as serious as I possibly could. And coming from me, that's saying a lot. But we're, we need to start out first by building a lander. I'm not one for good design. Every once in a while, I, I, I impress myself. I am, and I impressed myself with this lander. I'm sure it's got a couple of things here and there that I probably could have made a little bit better. The idea behind this, uh, behind this lander is that it'll fit in line with a rocket with the uh, uh, 1.25 meter rocket. Um, is that the big one? I can't remember. It's, it's, it's the bigger one. It's not the small one. It's the next stage up that we've been building on, the, the platform that we've been building on. So that that's the goal of today. And I want, I, I could have cut all of this out, but I want you guys to see the design of this lander and see where I'm kind of coming from on it. And try to walk you guys through it step by step as to what I was what I was thinking. Um, a lot of it is off the top of my head. I did Google um, uh, Kerbal Kerbal Moon Landers and uh, got a few ideas from that. Not not too many. Um, uh, the the internet, God bless it. Uh, did not uh, did not reward me the way I wanted it to. Also, remember in last episode we talked about using part clipping more. We're gonna part clip the fuck out of this thing, um, and we're gonna make sure that it's got all the bells and whistles and everything that it needs. Uh, that includes life support. This um, this module this lander will include life support uh, to last up to I believe uh, two hundred days. I uh, wanted to make sure they had plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of oxygen. Um, we are testing the um, the waste on this one. I do not have any um, any waste uh, containers on there. This will be equipped with RCS uh, for stability. It'll also have more than enough battery power on it. As you can see, I put the big batteries on there. Those things have like uh, 1,200 uh, electric power to them. So, and I got two of them and they're, they're heavy, but I want the bottom of this thing to be heavy. So there, there's, I'm not just throwing stuff on there without reason. Um, I, I want this, I want to make sure this thing's heavy. Also, uh, we're going to add plenty of fuel. There's two parts to this. The reason why we're adding fuel, uh, or so much fuel. The, the two reasons we're adding fuel is that, um, the top portion is, is going to separate from the bottom portion to go back and meet with the um, the, uh, the 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 capsule. Uh, the bottom portion is so that we make sure we have enough fuel to land and all that other stuff. It does that is a small engine I do have on there. I'm not using the the two the four small ones. Those are for um, re uh, re re getting back to the uh, the module the um, the module the capsule. So um, I wanted to make sure they have plenty of fuel. Also, the bottom one, since we are using a small engine, I wanted to make sure it had plenty of fuel to burn down because it can take a lot for it to burn down. So, Overkill is the name of this game, and I'm like the master of it. Um, Farside, I told you I had something better for you in the next episode, and this is it. I'm naming the lander after you, Farside Jake. Uh, this is the Farside Jake Make One uh, Mark One Moon Lander. And uh, I hope I hope this is just a little bit better. 
um, than just naming a launch system after you. But yeah, so that that's that is the 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 first test, of it. and I made sure to get all the damn Kerbals out of it this time. Uh, this is our first test. Uh, I do have some issues with some part clipping uh, when it comes to the separating. You see, the engine works just fine. It, it doesn't even have enough thrust to get us off the off the launch pad in Kerbal in Kerbin. But you see, when I uh, separated right there, lost a couple in uh, lost an engine, and uh, yeah, that's not good. So to remedy that, we're going to do uh, some more excellent part clipping, and we're going to put a uh, uh, rebar or not rebar, but yeah, you, you can see it right there. Put that bad boy on there, and then we're gonna move it up. We're gonna make sure that that that. The, the fuel canister on the bottom is not touching the fuel canisters on top. This solves our problem. We're going to separate completely now uh, with no issue. Engine still works. Separate. See there, it pops right off. Four engines go boom. Perfect. That's going to be more than enough fuel to get us back to our capsule as long as we time it correctly and hopefully have enough fuel to uh, kind of turn over and give back to the capsule uh, some of the fuel that it's lost on, it, on the way to the moon. So like, that's why I said the, the the amount of fuel I put on there is for two reasons. One, to make sure that we can get back to the capsule uh, easily. Uh, the other is to make sure is to see that we can um, uh, give some fuel back. Also, threw a couple of RCS uh, canisters on there as well to make sure we have RCS fuel. We're going to throw some RCS thrusters on there. Uh, we do have to dock this thing. Um, of course, when it comes back to the capsule. All we're gonna we're not gonna have the RCS. Um, there may be a little fuel left. As a matter of fact, I'll have to uh, remember that when I do separate to make sure that the RCS fuel is full on the capsule. But it's it's not gonna be as maneuverable as the capsule will be because the capsule will have uh, RCS thrusters on it as well. We'll probably just get that back into um, into orbit and then use the capsule to. Uh, to, to go and, and meet up with it and lock into it and everything um, before we... Uh, so, I mean, the RCS thrusters on top. Basically, this is just so the damn thing starts to tip over on the moon. I'll be able to use the RCS thrusters. Also, if I need to, I can get into that and use that to, to, to dock or redock before separating, after before going to the moon. It's, I know it sounds crazy, but uh, hopefully it makes sense. Um... Because we're building this frame around the, uh, since we built the moon lander first, we're gonna we're gonna build the frame around it. Uh, building the capsule and building the rocket around it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, and I'll show you how we're gonna deal with uh, aerodynamic forces on this thing. We're going to put a fairing underneath it, and you can see it's um, we don't need that bottom part. It sticks out just a little bit. The the top part is uh. The, the the same size as the uh, the rocket parts so it is a, a slightly bigger it's gonna be a bulge in our rocket but as you'll see here I get it the there we go perfect put it right in line that is a capsule we'll be able to put right in line as beautiful as can be I, I could not have done a better job I'm so thrilled as to how this turned out um this this rocket turned out but uh, it's easier and you see right here i'm starting to build the upper stage where the capsule is going to be and then we'll go down and we'll build the, the 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 primary launch stage as well um it's easier to build the capsule than it is to build the capsule first and then build a moon lander into it um, this just works out better um, and plus I've got a moon lander design and there we go using our part clipping again I hate the way those RCS tanks look and I know there's probably some parts out there that I um, that I have that I could uh, use maybe put RCS fuel in a regular fuel canister or something like that to make it look better but we just use part clipping for right now and uh, it hides it it's a little glitchy in the game but I can live with that uh, as long as they don't have to look at that uh, stupid yellow um, or so much of that yellow and uh, I was trying to do the same thing with um, with the uh, life support and it it didn't work out so we'll, we'll figure out something for that 
the checkerboardness of the uh, life support canister just wasn't going to work. We just do it down inside of that thing, which is perfect, and then we'll just live with the uh, we'll live with the the RCS. I, I don't like it. Um, I, I, like I said, I'll have to I'll have to look and see if there's uh, any other RCS things. Uh, currently in this build, we are using that um, that capsule. I didn't know when I put it on there that it only holds two people. We will go back and um, change that at a later date. Um, in the, as a matter of fact, in the next episode, uh, we do a little uh, retrofitting before we launch. And yeah, I, I didn't realize that was only a two-man capsule, um, or else I would I would have used the three-man. But you can see we've got the um, the inline parachutes for when it comes back. We got the heat shield. We got every all the essentials. We've got everything. We've got life support. We've got We've got everything we need. We even put an antenna on this thing. We're going to put four batteries on it as well to make sure. And we're going to, yes, that's right, park clip them into the um, the uh, the side so that they don't stick out as much. And I think they look better just kind of barely poking out with that gray, uh, to be honest with you. A lot of park clipping going on in this one. I, I kind of went park clipping crazy. I, I said I needed to do it, and I actually dove in and, and did a lot of it. And uh, I'll be honest with you damn fine rocket i like it i like this this entire build uh the far side jake um even though i said it was for the moon lander it's actually going to probably carry on to this this uh rocket build as well uh it'll take over for our other one that we've been using for a long time but we're still going to use it um to uh put satellites and stuff into orbit but uh this is probably going to be our new main launch system as you see uh, what I'm going for here. Uh, that's the wrong size tubing and I didn't realize it until after um, I did it. Uh, I need the the, uh, the one point, I think it's 1.25. Whichever one the uh, the first, <clears throat> excuse me, the original is, uh, the original rocket's size is. We're gonna throw that on there. We're gonna put, this is crazy. Um, we're gonna scrunch them in a little bit closer together and we're gonna put uh, some, some big, bigger rockets on there not not the not the the full size ones but you know like that um make sure we get uh something with some good thrust this bad boy is going to be able to lift anything that's why i said this may be our main platform from now on uh i just got to rip it off and and save it but uh yeah we're we <laughs> look at how many engines there are that's not even it we're gonna put a main cell on this bad boy too so uh it's if you got a bigger rocket at the bottom and uh, one, one of the things you need to know whenever you're doing stuff like this this is an older design of mine uh tweaked i used to use this all the time with asparagus stage and that was always the main stage um usually a little bit bigger it uh than it is currently but um yeah put those down there and it's it's a fuel hog but that's that's good that's what you want you want it to hog all the fuel but you get so much thrust out of it uh, it's ridiculous, and, and as you can see, it worked. This rocket is uh, uh, kind of tall, and um, so we're gonna try and build something equivalent to to match it on the sides. Ima imagine if you can that when the um, when we use this as a regular build, that the the moon lander's not in there, so there'll be um, if it's just shooting a rocket. Let's say we're going for uh, Duna or something. This may be the same platform we use to get there. Uh, except for you won't have a moon lander. You'll have the capsule and stuff up front. And maybe, or instead of the moon lander, you may have a science lab. You know, so I mean, it's, it's, I built it with some ver, um, versatility in it to where we can swap out things here and there and it could fit every, um, every mission. Now, one note for the fuel lines that um, I figured out is that when you put them on top like that, they fill from the they fill from the top down. You really want your fuel lines to be on the bottom most portion of your rocket. I fix that um, later when I do a little tweaking before we send this thing off. Um, the order we're going to send this stuff off is. Uh, we're going to send the, the rover first, which we haven't built yet. You'll see that in just a second. Then we're going to send this uh, to follow it. So we're going to actually put the rover on the ground on the moon, uh, sitting, lying, and waiting for this to come down. And then we're going to try and land close to it. 
and uh, with uh, the lander and hop in the rover. And, and again, the idea is the rover is going to have all the science stuff on it. So we're going to drive it around uh, the moon to uh, to the different biomes to get uh, to get um, all all the different sciences from the biomes. And you can see here, I'm I'm uh, setting it up for launch, um, and actually go to launch. But then I end up recovering it and saying, you know what? Instead of sending them out there and letting them sit out there for God knows how long while I build this rover and get the rover there, because it may, with testing and stuff, it may take too long and they use up all their life support. I decided, pump the brakes. Let's do the rover first, and then we'll 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 send the rover up, and and then after that, we'll send the crew. It just makes more sense to send something that's not going to have anybody in it out first and land it and then send your people. That's it's just something I, I thought of uh, while sitting on the launch pad like, wait, hold on, let's send the rover first. Anyways, this is a, uh, a new mod that I got. Uh, it's a really cool mod. I enjoy the parts and everything. I have some problems with it. I won't go over those problems right now. Um, and I do need to add this to the mod list, and it'll be in the description down below, uh, an updated mod list. Uh, also, I downloaded um, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement as well. So, like I said, if, you, if you've been following along playing with the mods, check in the description down below. The, when this video goes up, it'll have the updated mod list of everything that I've been using up to this point. Um, I, I constantly... And, and just for future reference, I... When I um when I update a mod or when I add a mod, I automatic uh, anytime I add a mod, I always put it in the description um, as I'm doing it. Meaning, um, you know, uh, it, let's say I didn't start with Scansat. Well, the first time I added Scansat as a mod, I'll put it in the mod list if that makes any sense. But anyways, uh, that's it. After after I'm done talking all of my technical issues focus here on the rover we're um putting a little it's got little modules that you can throw on it as you can see i've got a uh a um solar panel on top we've got a life support system on there we've got a battery we've got some rcs fuel and i'm putting rcs on it obviously because it's low gravity and i want to make sure the damn thing can can um can stay put i i did scale down the science uh the uh the service the science bay it's huge this rover is small i want this thing to be mobile if you have a problem with that i'm sorry there's nothing i can do about it i've got the the scaling on there for a reason and this is one of the main reasons um this this mod does also have uh truck um truck beds so what i would have liked to have done <clears throat> is actually put all this uh, equipment in a truck bed, but I haven't unlocked it yet through the tech tree, so we just have to deal with this the way it is. And the scary thing about all this is that um, if uh, if this thing rolls, it'll lose everything. So, and these, you won't see it in this one. It'll be when actually we get onto the moon with this thing. You'll notice it is squirrely. It does not. I, I it, it's there's got to be I've got to learn more about the mod. There's obviously a setting or something in there that I've got to fix, or just go slower. Um, but uh, yeah, it gets real squirrely, and I, I figured having two tires on the back would help. It didn't. So um, I think there are some treads for this mod that you would put instead of instead of having tires. I think it actually has like tank treads. I'll have to double check on that. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. But uh, that would be something that would help fix that as well. Uh, we're putting these Separatrons on there because we've it. That's that's what puts it in the middle, which you'll see here in just. A, oh no, you're not going to see it. That's going to be next video because uh, I hear the music building in the background. Um, yeah, this has been a long one, but yeah, you see how squirrely it is. Uh, that's my problem with it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do love and support, uh, love your support, and uh, love, actually, I love all you guys. Everyone who subscribed to my channel recently, thank you so much. Um, guys, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, it does mean a lot to me when I talk to you guys. I enjoy it. 
uh, I do respond to all my comments and I enjoy uh, my uh, talking with my audience and everything so if you could hit that like button hit that subscribe button it always means a lot to me I am still a small channel and would love to grow anyways guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time for more redneck space program